Into the chat on News Dan Marillo and News Channel 10 2. I am Alan Robertson. Good morning, everybody. I'm Rhonda Lonert. And I'm still I'm Ch- Chuckalicious, Chuck Williams. And uh, fun times, definitely fun times for sure here at the Citizens Bank studio. I have a little bit of time. As mentioned, we do have some upcoming events from around the area. Very much exciting time over these next couple of days, weeks, and months. And with that, we are joined by Miss Mary Brawley from the Barrio Neighborhood Planning Committee. Mary, how are you doing today? Good. How are you guys? Feeling good. Almost a little too lively to a certain point. You know what I mean. That's the way to start the day. That's Mary, the way to go. Mary, let me cut to the chase. Just okay. what's on the docket for the Barrio Neighborhood Committee? What you got coming up? I want to know. <laughs> you know, the Barrio Neighborhood Planning Committee is always up to something, right? I think that that is the success of, of that committee is that they're always doing something. But one of the things that they started last year and had over 100 in attendance was start, a new, start your new business classes. Right. And so it was a quarterly meeting. Well, actually, I don't think it was quarterly, but it worked out to three times. And there were different subjects and the room was full each each time because people want to know even if they're in business they need to know tips and tricks because the world of our businesses are changing right so they um, they were just always packed and uh, people who came said when are you gonna do this again we'd like more things to talk about more things to learn and so we're doing it again and and it starts um, mar- next month which is like a week away or something, right? Yeah. <laughs> Give or take a day. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, um, I remember, you know, in the past we were talking about, you know, improvements to the looks of the area. And yep. um, are we still working on that? And how is that? How's What's the buzz about it in the neighborhood? Are they excited about it? What What's going on with the, the look of, of them? Yeah. Right? So the 10th Street 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 Streetscape say that 10 times um it's still going there's still funding that's needed but it's almost to completion they've gotten trees bought and benches bought uh those are well the trees aren't being stored but the benches are being stored and so it's always that last little bit that takes the longest to come in but also la placita park i don't know if Mm -hmm. you've heard of that little park but that's going strong um you know surveys have been done and all the things have been done and so that one is coming soon as well and that's really exciting because that's a place where everybody can come there are going to be uh, areas that food trucks can park um later on there's going to be free wi-fi there's going to be so food music and outdoors they're going to have plants because currently it's just blacktop Mm -hmm. but they're going to have plants and it's going to look really nice so that's the newest thing that's going on with the neighborhood and yes everybody's excited but i think for myself and i know many others they're like hurry up let's get this done i'm ready to party i want it in time for uh summer (laughs) absolutely now the whole idea of the streetscape i mean basically is safety am i off here or what No, that's exactly right. You know, there's so many neighborhoods that aren't safe that you just pass by. You don't even know. You don't even think, stop and think about how others are traveling as you're traveling going by in your car so if you just you know sit at at fiesta foods Mm -hmm. in the parking lot and just watch across the street you'll see all kinds of people that are trying to go up and down the sidewalk along 10th and it's broken and you know how sidewalks kind of go up there's people in wheelchairs that are trying to maneuver that kids Mm -hmm. on bikes um there's no good street lighting and so yes we we what we want to do is bring it up to ada standards Mm -hmm and um you know have a healthy and safe community and so it's these little things that you know we're all we all do this we just pass by and sometimes we just are looking straight ahead at where we're going and we're not looking around us and seeing what some of the neighborhoods need until we're in need and so um yes it's definitely a health and safety concern and so um and plus it's going to look so much nicer Mm. and more inviting Absolutely, absolutely. We do have a little bit of time uh, before I get out of here. Thank you so much for, for joining us this morning, Mary. But uh, when, when it comes to the neighborhood itself, I mean, you know, very much rich in history uh, being around the Amarillo area. And, of course, with, with the improvements being made, you know, get, as mentioned, getting up to standard and things of that nature, lots of work 
being done, lots of work that has been done, a lot of work that soon will be done. Uh, very much obviously not a, a one-person job, not a one-woman job. You know, Talk a little bit ab about the team, how great that you guys have been able to put these things into motion over these past couple of months. You know, I've always found when you can collaborate with others, you're just able to get more done. It might be slow going, but it's faster than if you're working alone. So these business classes, we're doing them along with the WT SBDC. They're uh, very valuable and have been part of this plan. We've invited the other neighborhoods to participate. So Eastridge uh, community neighborhood, there's a representative from Eastridge on there. And so, you know, we're, we're wanting to help all businesses not just the barrio. It's important to have San Jacinto come in, coming in and North Heights coming in. And so everybody is invited, but when you're bringing everybody in, that just makes all neighborhoods feel included. They don't feel, you know, like, oh, that's just for the barrio. That's mm -hmm. for me too. And that's the great thing about partnerships. And so um, we also have Amtech Career Center. They're gonna be doing something. In fact, it's their students that are gonna be teaching the marketing class. Oh, wow. And so that is absolutely fantastic because that gives them experience plus they have the insight of the younger generation wow. you know we know what we like but what is it that they like what are they going to be looking to what kind of businesses do they you know anticipate going into because it seems like everybody wants to be an entrepreneur you know that there are still those that want to be a doctor lawyer whatever but entrepreneurship you know they see on social media i can do my own thing and make money and so um what entices them and so that's going to be really um, a good subject for for some of our uh, guests that are coming in in the marketing area. And then on in May, we're going to have a uh, panel discussion with, you know, there's a representative from each neighborhood that's going to talk about their business in their neighborhood and how they remain successful. And so we have somebody from San Jacinto. Uh, it's called Antiques. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, yeah, so <laughs> Aunt Eeks. Anyways, um, they're going to be there. Uh, George and Yuri have a transportation company. They're going to be there. So we're trying to have everybody that's involved. Um, uh, I can't think of the guy's name with the Amarillo Venom and uh, also a mortuary. He owns a mortuary. Golden Gate, I believe. Golden and I'm Gate, sorry, yeah. I, yeah. So he'll be there. And so, you know, it's giving different perspectives, too. Uh, on what works here, what have I done that works, because then we can all share ideas and we ourselves will be able to improve. So it's three classes, they last about an hour, we feed them. And so, you know, it's after work, but um, there will be food there at each one of these. And so uh, you won't go away hungry, and uh, but you will definitely go away more knowledgeable. Absolutely, that, that's what it's all about at the, at the end of the day, you know what I mean? We'll, we'll definitely have some more information up on our website, kgncnewsnow.com. Let's get closer into the date, but very, very much excited as how things will be looking over these next couple of weeks and months as well. So Mary, cannot thank you enough for taking time out and joining us this morning. You have a great and safe rest of your day. Thank you, you too. Bye-bye.